Hi, I'm Ryan McSherry, Analytical Gas Product Specialist. Today I'm going to be showing you how to balance the lines on an AC4 and AC8. Okay, this is important because there's different runs of tubing, uh, different lengths, rather, uh, in each of the auto calibration units. So, uh, what's being fed in isn't necessarily going to be what's fed out for all the channels given pressure drops across lines. So, what we're going to do is balance them out to make sure that you're going to get an even reading um, on all your probes and even float all your probes. Okay, so this is an AC8 here. The procedure is identical to the AC4. It's just a little bit more work, um, more more probes. Okay, so to get started with this, I'm going to go ahead and caution. Um, don't use a screwdriver like this, a smaller one. Use one that's big enough to cover the entire screw on the terminal block. Otherwise, you risk um, stripping out the screw that's on the terminal blocks and the manifolds, okay? Okay, so our first step is we're going to be opening this block solenoid valve, okay? Okay, so just turn it to where it's vertical. These, by the way, should both be horizontal to start out. Um, if they aren't, then you're going to have a problem. Uh, you probably should turn the air on. Okay. All right, now we're going to open this calibration gas valve. We're going to open this all the way, okay? Okay, now what you're going to do is you're going to identify your longest tubing run, okay? So for this, it's going to be probe 5, okay? This has to feed all the way down through here and then goes up through here, so probe 5 is going to be the longest tubing run. Okay, I'm going to open it up to the vertical position, okay? And what we're going to do is we're going to adjust this screw to the right so that the calibration gas value is at 1.0 liters per minute, okay? So turn it right to lower the flow and turn it left to uh, increase it. All right, there we go. Let me go ahead and close this. Just going to turn that counterclockwise. Okay, open the next longest probe length. Or, sorry, the next longest line length. Okay, open this one up. Do the same thing. Set 1.0 on the calibration gas. Perfect. Okay, close that one. Open probe 7. And drop this down to 1.0 as well. Alright, there we go. Okay. Close it off. Open up probe 8. Same thing. Alright. Start back at 1. It's the next longest line length. Not going to be too exact in this video, uh, just because you have to set this up each time. And this is just for demonstration purpose. Okay. Close this one. Okay, now probe three. All right, close that off. And the last one, probe four. Close that off. Okay, so now we're going to accidentally open that. Close probe four. Okay. Okay. So that that's done, what we're going to do, we're going to open up the longest tubing run again. Open that manual one. Okay. We're going to adjust this so it reads right at point six. So I got probe 5 reading at 0.6. Okay, now with that still open, what we're going to do is change from flowing span gas over to zero gas. So just turn this, all right? And then open this valve up here. Okay, this is going to be for your zero gas until you read 0.6 on this calibration gas rotimeter here.
If you have trouble reaching the .6, it means your pressure is probably a little too low. Uh, you can bump up it a little bit. Uh, you're probably just getting a little line drop from plumbing it over to the AC4, AC8. Okay. All right. So now with that set, let's go ahead and close this override back, probe five. Okay. Close off. See the pressure is dropping out of the system. Now what we're going to do. Go ahead and turn these back to the uh, the horizontal position. Okay. So we're closing the block valve. Back. Okay. And. All right, and that's all there is to it. Uh, like I said, procedure for the AC4 is uh, pretty similar. Um, you just got four less probes to it. Okay, so I hope this helps. Uh, thank you.